now 25 again radical equation okay you solve for the radical so try to isolate the radical uh -huh. now square both sides because I want to eliminate the radical so it's 3x plus 1 without radical and you expand here using quifoil I like quifoil is square first minus two times multiplication both plus square the second it's like x square minus 6x plus 9 okay quadratic the equation then x square minus 6x plus 9 uh, I'm moving minus 3x uh, minus 1 equal to 0 x squared minus 9x plus 8 equal to 0 it's possible by factoring the combination obviously is 8 and 1 negative both negative and negative uh -huh. let me check it just in case it's x squared minus yeah, it's perfect the solution is 8 and 1 let me check it. Check it, check it, check it. Checking for the first one is eight. It's three plus radic. Three times a plus one should be equal eight. 3 plus, this is 3 times 8 is 24 plus 1 is 25, square root 25 is 5, equal a, a equal a, true, perfect. A is correct. Now checking for 1. It's 3 plus square root 3 times 1 plus 1 is equal 1. This is 3 plus, this is 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4, square root 4 is 2, equal 1, mm -mm -mm. 5 is not equal, this is completely false, therefore the solution is wrong. The only solution said, solution set for this equation is 8. Okay, radical equation, but in this case contain two radicals. That's it. Is. You copy the first, and you isolate the first. Because so we have we have one plus square root x plus one, and you square both sides. Mm -hmm. This is two x plus three. And square this is one square minus or plus two times one times a radical plus a radical square. Mm -hmm. It's two x plus three is equal one plus two times a radical plus x plus one only because the square root and square does is out shot. Just a combined like term. In this case, 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 radical x plus 1 plus x. Now isolate the second radical. It's 2x plus 3. Uh, minus 2 minus x is equal to 2 radical x plus 1. Combine like term. 2x minus x is 1x. And 3 minus 2 is 1. Plus 1 is equal to times x plus 1 and square both sides again it's quifoil here x square plus 2 times multiplication both 1 and x plus 1 square is equal 4 times and cancels out the radical x plus 1 it's very important this parenthesis because 2 to the second power is 4 multiply whole thing so you apply this through the property is 4x plus 4 
Uh, entonces, so far we have a quadratic equation. This is 2x plus 1 minus 4x minus 4 equal to 0. Combine like that again. It's a minus 2x uh, minus 3 equal to 0. Let me try by factoring. Factoring the combination is 3 and 1. Sign is minus 1 plus equal to 0. That one solution is 3. Another solution has negative one. And you must check it one by one. Check for three. I'm plugging in, but in the region, huh? Square root two times three plus three minus square root three plus one should be, I don't know, six through four, one. This is six, it's three, square root, uh, two times three is six plus 3 is 9, square root 9 is 3, minus two, three, 3 plus 1 is 2, 3 plus 1 is 4, and square root 4 is 2, and obviously 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 equal 1, perfect true, the solution 3 is correct, let's see negative 1, check for negative 1, Negative 1 is square root 2 times negative 1 plus 3 minus the square root negative 1 plus 1 should be 1. Uh, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Square root 1 is 1. Minus. E negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Square root 0 is 0. Obviously, 1 equals 1 is true also. And both solutions are perfect. Now, the solution set for this equation is 3 comma negative 1 two solution okay 29 is similar you isolate one radical I suppose this is equal to plus radical x minus 1 and you square both sides square here and square here the answer is 3x plus 1 is equal and you are using quick four is four so two, two squared is four plus multiplication two times radical times extra two is four radical x minus one plus square this is just x minus one without without radical so say combine like term is three x plus one is equal three plus four radical x minus 1 plus x. Isolate the second radical. 3x plus 1 minus 3 minus x is equal 4 radical x minus 1. 2x minus x is 2x. Uh, 3x minus x is 2x. And 1 minus 3 is negative 2. It's equal 4 times square root x minus 1. In this case, I divide by 2 the entire equation, so we have x minus 1 is equal to 2 times radical x minus 1, ready to square. You square, again, we fold x square minus 2 times 1 times x plus 1 is 1 square. It's 4 times x minus 1. Now distribute 4x minus 4. Quadratic equation again. X squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 4x uh, plus 4 equals 0. We have x squared minus 6x plus 5 equal to 0. Okay, the solution of this quadratic equation I suppose is by factoring. The combination is 5 and 1. 5 and 1. 5 times 1 is 5 and somehow a 5 plus 1 is 6 negative buff. So the solution is positive 5 and positive 1. Let's check it one by one. Check for x equal 5. It's a square root 3 times 5 plus 1 minus the square root 5 minus 1 should be 2. This is 15, 16, square root 4 minus 
this is 5 minus 1 is 4, square root 4 is 2, uh, 4 minus 2 of course 2 is true. And checking for the other, checking for 1. This is square root, 3 times 1 gives 3, plus 1 is 4, minus the square root, 1 minus 1 equal to this is 4 square root is 2 minus 0 is 2. Yeah, it's perfect. It's true also. All solutions are perfect. So the solution set for this equation is 5 and 1. Positive 5 and positive 1. Okay, 31. I copy again the equation. square both sides. Because we have 3 minus 2 radical x equal x. And you isolate the second radical, minus 2 radical x is equal x minus 3. And you square again both sides. This is 4x positive, of course. And you apply qui foil here, x, x squared minus twice, is 6x plus 9. Ah, then we have quadratic equation. Let me put in the standard form. Quadratic equation is x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 4x equal to 0. x squared minus 10x plus 9 equal to 0. By factoring, of course, the combination is 9 and 1. 9 and 1. Negative of x equal 9 and x equal 1. Let's check in the original. Checking for x9 is the square root 3 minus 2 the square root 9 should be equal square root 9. Square root, this is 3 minus 2 times 3 should be 3, because square root 9 is 3. Now multiplication, in this case we have uh, 2, negative 2 times 3 and negative 6. It's 3 minus 6. 3 minus 6. It obviously is, is radical negative 3. It's no equal to 3, this is completely false. But the solution is wrong. Uh, check it for 1. Let's see what happens. x is equal 1 is 3 minus 2 radical 1 should be equal radical 1. It's radical 3 minus radical 1 is 1. Uh, 3 minus 2 is 1. If radical 1 is 1. 1 equal 1. Perfect. This is true, the only solution that is true is this. The solution set for this equation is 1. Perfect.